Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Akibu, and today I want to show you guys how to improve your structures in Build Battle. Now remember, if you guys like any tips or want to see any more tips in the future, please, please, please remember to drop a subscribe or a like on the video. Both are super greatly appreciated. And yeah, with all that being said, let's get right into these tips. Okay, so tip number one is grooves. So when people build a wall, usually it is pretty flat and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to add some detail to it really easily, all you have to do is just add grooves to it. And all you do is you just add some stairs in there. And look at that, now it looks like you have these little bits sticking out. It looks kind of nice. And yeah, that's something I really, really enjoy doing, and it's something not a lot of people do. So it's something you guys should definitely consider doing to just kind of stand out from the competition and yeah, just improve your structures overall. So uh, yeah, grooves. Okay, now let's get into the next bit. I want to talk about adding windows to structures. So when we're building towers in Build Battle, it's usually a really smart idea to add some sort of window to it, because without the window, just like this wall without grooves, it's very, very bare. And you gotta add something, you gotta add some flair, you know? Can't be like the other girls, you know? It's gotta be quirky. So basically, right, let's say we're like doing a, I don't know, like a lighthouse, right? Let's, let's just pretend, let's just pretend, right guys? Let's just pretend. So here we go, we got a wall, right? Watch this, watch this. We're gonna throw some black behind there. We're gonna carve out a window. Fence. Like Trap doors. Little roof. Bang! Look at that, dude. We got detail. We got detail on this. It's great. It's great. It's so easy to do. And it's definitely something that will set your builds apart from everyone else. So definitely consider adding windows to structures. Okay, now next, I want to talk about door design. So I did some designs for you guys. I did a three wide door, a five wide door, and a seven wide door. I, I'll be honest with you all. I don't think anyone's gonna be building a seven wide in build battle, but you know, prove me wrong, prove me wrong. Please, please, please build a seven wide. I'd love to see what that even looks like, but basically just note the first two. I think the first two are the most important. And uh, what I tend to do is I tend to make grids on my door design. And I think it's something that really gives it more detail. It's really easy to do. You just go up like so. And yeah, you just kind of go across just like that. Not too difficult. And then you just get the dark oak stairs and you're able to add these grids to the door. Really, really nice way to spice your door up. Something I learned from seeing some Sadical builds is he likes to add buttons going down the door. And that looks pretty nice, I won't lie. I like it. But something you could do is, if the door is like more flat, let's say, like there's not groups going on, you could actually throw a button right here or something. And it could just be like a doorway, you know? Like, look at that. That's a doorknob now. Some other doorknobs I like to use are, of course, the trip wire hooks as well. So, as you can see, that has the same bit of effect to it. Okay, so, <laughs> with that out of the way, Let's talk about the five wide door. The five wide door, I tend to give it more detail. I like to split it in the middle with an iron bar, something I kind of saw Clayne's doing, something I really like. It makes it look like you're opening two big doors, which I think that's really cool, especially on like a castle build or a mansion build, so on, you know, you get the idea. Something I like to do is I like to do a cobblestone wall with levers connecting to the wall, which just gives it a really cool looking doorknob. And of course, as you go bigger, you can add more detail, more size to it. And that's kind of what I did with the seven wide. The big difference being I added a birch fence because there's just more space, so I felt like that fit nicer. And uh, yeah, those are some door designs. Oh my God, maybe I'll do this like whole video in one take. Imagine, that would be like crazy. Anyways, let's talk about roofs because that's the next thing I want to talk about. So for roofs, I tend to add stairs on the bottom, and then I go with two blocks up, two blocks up, two blocks up, and then I add anvils on top. I think this is a really nice roof design. You can do it with many different palettes, of course. I've seen people use prismarine, and so on, yeah. Something else you could do, you don't have to do anvils on top. You could actually get away with doing 
cobblestone walls. Something I've seen them do in high pixel lobbies is they'll get the walls like this and then they'll actually break it up. Every one block there'll be a wall. And then the roof ends up looking like that, which this works. It works pretty well. I like the anvils a little more though, but do you, you know, spice it up, be different. Go for it. Okay, and with all that, we're on to the final tip. Yes, we are doing this in one take. I am lazy. Yeah. So my last tip, of course, is going to the housing lobby. Slash L housing. It, it, it's literally the greatest tip. This, this is why you waited until the end of the video, because you wanted the greatest tip. And the greatest tip to improve your structures is to steal everything you see in this lobby, pretty much. I mean, just look at this. Look at the palettes they use, look at the, the detailing, the designs. Just look around this lobby, fly around this lobby for a little bit, and then place a build battle after it, and I swear it'll pay off. Just look how they, like, design this. This is, in my opinion, the best, like, design lobby for structures, so it's definitely worth, like, checking out. Some other places you can go to look at structures in 1.8, I would recommend looking at Builder's Refuge. And yeah, you could just go there and you can really just look at what other people do in 1.8 and just kind of like take their designs, you know, and make a Frankenstein of all these different styles and stuff. And uh, yeah, with that all out of the way, I just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for getting to the end of the video. And yeah, I did it in one take, so. I think that deserves a sub, right? 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 Yeah, totally. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.